What's good gamers and welcome to Minecraft. Um, we're just going to be going through what my thoughts are on the 1.17 update which is releasing in this uh, summer of 2021. And uh, Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, follow me on Instagram at cyber underscore official. You know how to spell cyber, you know how to spell official. If you don't go back to kindergarten. Anyways, let's get straight into it. Alright, we're going to start things off going in the order that the Minecraft wiki does. That's because it just makes it easier for me. Anyways, so... Starting off with copper and copper ore. My thoughts on copper. The copper, the copper ore by itself. I don't think it's that it's that special. I mean, it's cool to see a new um, ore introduced into the game. We haven't seen one of those like a new metal, like a new metallic block ore introduced into the game in a while. So I think that's pretty cool. Um, doesn't really have a lot of functions though. Like just the ore by itself. I mean, it's it's an okay looking block. It just seems kind of like it looks like a modded block to me. Um, but the copper, like the actual copper, I think is an insane block because like it changes the longer that it stays in the actual environment, and like it it just shows how like how long builds have like taken you, and like it it it's a really good representation of um, like how long your build has like been around for. Um, the next thing is the um, the new lush cave biome thing. Um, I mean, it's cool. It's really cool. Um, I like how it introduces like new like um like moss. Like it has like different like grass like blocks. Um, and like as I'm not like a great builder, but as somebody who builds in Minecraft, like hiding light is not easy to do, especially in like natural areas. And this like this new like moss thing is gonna do like um it's gonna be pretty helpful in trying to like um conceal like your light in your builds, especially in like survival worlds. Um, it's, I think it's a great block to add to the game. Um, also, the other new part of this is that it adds, um, like, bushes into the actual caves, which are, like, they're, like, a block tall, and they're, like, they're actual bushes, which is, I think are personally awesome, too. Um, like, have I seen better things in this the game? Yes, but, like, bushes, we've had, like, grass and, like, grass blocks and, like, other, like, natural things, but bushes, I think, just... It, it, it takes it to a whole nother level, and my other, my only one problem is that it seems, it just doesn't seem Minecrafty. it just seems kind of, like, modded. Because, like, the shape of the bush and everything, like, it comes out, it's like a square shape with a little, like, peg coming out of the bottom. I personally, I, I, I think it looks really cool, but I'm not really sure if the community is going to like it. Alright, next we have the Amethyst in the Amethyst Geodes. Yeah, I used the, um, <laughs> the Crimson block for that, because I had no other blocks for it. And I do not like this whatsoever. It just, it doesn't seem right. Like, the crystals, like, they're like, there's, there's little crystals in, like, these different caves that you can find, I think. And the crystals, they don't look right. They're just, they're too, they're too crystallized. And, um, do I think Mojang could have done a better job with this? 100%. But, like, I think they look, okay, don't get me wrong, I think they look cool. But I just don't, it doesn't have that, like, Minecraft look into it. And the only thing that you can use, like, the crystals for, I think, are, like, the telescopes. Which I'll get into later on. But, um, I mean, the only, the only takeaway from this thing, which I think is a good thing, is, like, the actual, um, like, the blocks that, like, surround the crystals. And I'm not even sure if you can, like, take those blocks out of the actual area. But I think those do look cool. Um, I think those can be, like, a good building block. If you're building something like crystallized and whatnot, but I mean that, that's my personal opinion. People can think otherwise, but I don't think that I don't think that they're a right add into the game. Um, next we have the clay and like the clay pots, like the pottery and whatnot. It's cool. I mean, there's not really much in it. Like, I don't really know like why we needed this. I mean, in the the entire um, archaeology like, dig sites and whatnot, it, like, surrounds this category. This, that entire category, I think, I personally, I don't like it. There's no, there's no need for it. Like, I'm not really, really sure, like, Minecraft needed an archaeology dig site. Um, it doesn't seem like Minecraft. And the, ad the, the addition of, like, brushes, which I'll get into further, I don't think it, it just doesn't seem like Minecraft. And, I mean, it's, I guess it's cool to have, like, personalized, like, clay pots, but, they don't really, like, they don't seem necessary, and they don't seem, like, any use whatsoever, except for, like, like, oh, I made a pot, and I dug for 20 minutes, or whatever. I, I personally don't think that it's a good addition into the game. Um, yeah, that's, that's my personal opinion. I don't really think they're that cool. I mean, it, it's okay. I have no, like, 
Am I gonna complain about it forever? No, but I personally don't think they're that they're that good. And moving on to the drip leaf plant, I um I personally like this one a lot. Um, I think it's very cool that you can have like different like traps because like um like the longer you stand on the leaf, it looks like then um the better chance like the the faster the leaf drops then you can fall to the ground and i can see a lot of traps like i can like i build a lot of traps um like in like my creative and survival worlds and whatever um because they're, they're fun to build and i think that this can be a great addition and like those traps can go to a whole another level when like you just have like a platform it just like a natural platform that just falls on you know, or like parkour or anything i think those are very cool um moving on we have the um the stalactites and the stalagmites like the um uh, what are they called those caves i forget what they're called but the um i think it's like dripstone caves or something like that um i think that those are extremely cool and despite like the unpopular i mean the, the popular opinion like the the um the stalagmites and stalactites don't look minecrafty enough i think okay the thing that i think doesn't look minecrafty enough is the um like the brushes and like the dig, 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 the dig sites and whatnot, but I think that the um the, those caves are they're they're insane. They look so cool. And like the generation of those caves, like Mojang has really outdone themselves here. Like I really, I I, I applaud them. It's 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 honestly awesome what they've done. I just realized I skipped the um <laughs> the the skulk um and the skulk growths and whatnot. That's what I used an eye of ender for. I mean ender portal for. Um, I think that these are extremely cool. Like they're, it, it it's basically wireless redstone in the game. And as somebody who spends a lot of time with redstone in um in Minecraft, like this this uh, um along with the drip leaves, it just adds like a whole nother level to the whole trap game of Minecraft. Cause like you you can have somebody walk into like a room and immediately like, you have like TNT like pouring onto the face or like lava or like like fall into a pit or whatnot, just based off of like it, it's wireless. Like you can't. Like you just hook it up to a redstone and it hears the sound, and um, I think I think that's absolutely incredible. I'm, do I okay? I do I think it's, do I think it's Minecrafty? That's like the real question. Um, I think it's very cool. <laughs> um, I think it's a great addition to the game. I'm not really sure if it's 100% Minecrafty enough, like like blocky and like you know Minecraft, but um, I still I do think it's very cool and it's a great addition to the game. Next, we have the lightning rods, and I think that these are absolutely useless. I'm never gonna craft one of these in survival Minecraft ever. Um, like, I never, my houses never get struck by lightning, and even if they do, like some, like 90% of the time, I don't play with fire tick on, or like, um, I don't really build houses with like wooden slabbed roofs or whatever. But um, I think, I mean, I think they're cool and they look cool and like they can be used well in like building and whatnot. Um, but Aesthetically, like, okay, they're cool aesthetically, but for usefulness, I'm never gonna really use one. Like, it's just, it just sits there on top of the house and it attracts lightning. Like, if, if you could, like, power redstone with it, that'd be a whole different thing. Like, that, that'd that be really cool. Um, like, if you could have, like, a comparator, like, if every time like, it's, like, struck by lightning, then you can, like, do whatever. But, um, I think it's, I think it's pretty cool. Um, maybe, okay, hmm, maybe if you had, like, a, um... If it could work with redstone, then maybe you can make like a um, like a witch farm. It wouldn't. I'm not really sure how that how that would work. But like if you like if you constantly have like a villager like on top of the lightning rod and it gets struck, um, then I think that could be a I, could, I, think, I think that could be cool. But um, if it doesn't have anything to do with redstone, I think it's useless. Moving on to the candles, which I think are absolutely they're they're a great addition to the game. Like they're they're really useful, especially in like um, medieval building and whatnot. I think they're um, a great addition. They look cool. I think there's like a white and a black candle, and um, if you can dye the candles, <laughs> that that just make it so much better. Um, because you can have like candles that just make match the look of your builds, and um, I think those could be really cool. Um, I think I think they are cool in the game. And my only thing is like if you can like hold them, um, and like they like. Maybe if they like run down and they like run out of like um run out of like what's it called like wick and whatnot um I'm not really sure how you're gonna craft the candles um there's there's no like wax in Minecraft but um I still think they're a really cool addition especially if they actually like run out of like life um, moving on to the brush which I stated earlier when I was talking about the clay 
I don't think it's, I don't think it's, I don't think it's a good item. I don't think it's a good item. Um, it's, I don't think it's useful. I don't think Minecraft needed archaeology. It just, it just doesn't really work with the game. I'm not really sure anyone who's like, um, probably like a, a solid Minecraft player would come be using it. Cause like, um, like you're, you're going to be digging for clay. I'm, I personally, I'm not really going to use it. I don't think a lot of people are also going to use it. Um, but it, it's cool. Don't get me wrong, but I don't think it's, I don't think it's useful. Then we have the bundles and the bundles are a challenging thing to talk about because they can be either really cool or not. Because, um, it, first of all, they seem very, very, very modded. And I feel like I'd see one of those in, like, a, um, <laughs> like a Hermitcraft, like, mod sauce, like, um, season or something. Um, but I don't think that they're... I mean, I guess they're useful if you don't have, like, shulker boxes and whatnot. Um, if it's, like, an easier shulker box to craft, I think that's very cool. But, um, they don't seem, like, they don't seem... Minecraft. I know if I use that word a lot, but they just they don't seem Minecrafty. They just seem too modded and they don't like I'm not really sure like I'm not even sure if you can like, carry shulker boxes in them, which I'm assuming you can't, but um it may be bundles inside of shulker boxes, but still I don't they're okay, but like it doesn't I don't personally like them. On to the telescope. Um I think that the telescope is absolutely useless. Um there's no need for it whatsoever. No one, like, if you need to, you can just, like, ready? If I'm, if I'm looking for, if I'm looking at the wall over here, and I need to see what's there, all I'm going to do, either my Optifine, which I just, I haven't bothered to install it yet, because, you know, I haven't bothered to, but, um, see? I can just do that, and then put my field of view back to normal. Um, I guess it, I guess it can be useful on, like, um, like, console, like, Xbox, PlayStation, and whatnot, or like Switch, because you can't have mods on that. But I, I personally think it's the worst update to the game. I think it's absolutely useless, and there's no, there's, I, I don't think it's worth it. On to arguably the worst thing in the entire game, in my opinion, the glow squid. And um, the Minecraft community screwed themselves over here because um, I think they, they're just, they're not useful. Like, there's no really, it's not really useful, like, yeah, I guess it, the only, the only remote situation where I think they could be possibly semi-useful is if they end up using them for, like, um, if they, like, emit, like, some sort of, like, glow jelly or, like, dust or whatever, I don't know, and then you use that to, like, d like, dye stuff or whatnot, as, like, a second dye, but, I mean, uh, ink, what's it called, dye farms are so easy to make, y'all need is a few pistons and, like, a plot of grass, and they're so easy to make, so I don't really think it's useful. Um, maybe for like lights and whatnot, but I don't think Minecraft is gonna go that way. So um, I I think they're not a good decision. And the last time <laughs> the Minecraft community voted on something, it was for phantoms, and <laughs> we all see what ended up with that. Nobody likes them, and they're one of the worst mobs in the game. Next we have the mountain goat, or the goat, or whatever you wanna call it. Um. I think that it's very cool. I think it seems modded, but I think it's very cool because sometimes modded things are good for Minecraft. Um, I think it's very cool. It like headbutts stuff, and I think you can use those for like a lot of traps, like a maybe like a, a skulk sensor um, <laughs> leading into like a drip leaflet part, and like a like a like a bucket. I mean, like, well, not a bucket, like a hill full of goats. Um, they, they could like all like, headbutt you off of the side of the mountain, maybe. Um, as like a death run or like a parkour or whatever, I think that could be a very cool use for them. But um, I, mean, I think they're going to be cool in the environment, especially in that there's like new, um, new mountains that are going to be added to the game, which I'll talk about in a second. And finally, out of the um, the la one of the last things I'm going to talk about is the warden. I think that this is by far the coolest thing that Minecraft has added within the past few years, easily. Um. It's, it's, it's awesome. It's absolutely awesome. Like, it, it's like a, um, like a skulk sensor in the iron golem put into one mob. And I think that's, it, it's really cool. Like, it, it hears where you're going, it, it attacks really hard, and I'm not really sure what it drops yet. Um, maybe like skulk sensors, maybe it drops those. Um, maybe that's how you get it, but, um, I think it's very cool. And, um, there can be a lot of uses for that, especially in like a, um, like a, 
like a maze type thing. If you have like a bunch of like um, if you like trap wardens and get them into like a maze, and you can make like a um like a fun run or like a death run or whatever you want to call it um full of like wardens. So you have to be like, super quiet, or the wardens are gonna get you. And that's I I think that's gonna be a really cool addition to the game. And finally, the last thing is the biome generation, which I think is incredible. Off of the off of the pictures that they've showed us. In, um, off of what I've seen off of it, I think that it's probably one of the coolest things I've ever seen in Minecraft. And a lot of people are saying that it doesn't look like um, doesn't look like Minecraft. It looks like advanced like settings like Minecraft and whatnot. I completely disagree. I completely disagree because if you look at Minecraft, not this world obviously because it's flat, but if you look at Minecraft in a whole, like it, there's not a lot of like it's not like you you can make a mountain. But now the mountains are going to be like made, and you can make like even greater things on top of it. So um, I think that this is like an incredible addition to the game, and um, it's gonna be it's gonna be really cool to just like walk like to like a cliff, and you see like mountains, and um, also the caves, which I think are gonna be really awesome too. Um, just like taking like a boat to like a big tunnel and like a ravine in a cave, just like going, it'll go for on like for a while. I think it's going to be really cool in Minecraft, and um, that's my review of Minecraft. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, follow me on Instagram at cyber underscore official. You know how to spell cyber, you know how to spell official. And if you don't, go back to kindergarten. Anyways, if you liked this on video and you want to see more co uh, Minecraft, make sure to like, um, and I'll make sure to come back to it as soon as I can. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next one. Cyber